Prue Gower promised before the elections that she would return all children wrongfully taken by the previous government. Prue Gower has not kept to her promise. My children were abducted from the state of New South Wales into the state of Tasmania through docks, child protection services, whatever you want to call them, and collusion with the family court. Both these children are caught in horrific circumstances in another state. Tasmania being that state, they have no parental protection. They are living with a psychopath and a convicted pedophile. Docs knows this, and for three weeks I've been fighting Docs to interview both children. I've just received word ten minutes ago that Docs have failed once again to interview both children. What we have here is Barry O'Farrell. He may have cut Docs New South Wales budget by $55 million, but he has not gone far enough. Yay! Barry, make them accountable. Every cent of my taxpaying dollars is being played with by this department. Do you think that it all goes into child protection? They go on paid junkets to tropical islands. They drive the best cars. They are paid an incentive for every child they take. And that incentive is monetary and it personally goes back to the individual docks worker that removed those children. True, very true. This is all very true. While we today here thank Mr O'Farrell. Yes! Mr O'Farrell, will you come out and speak to us? Barry! $55 million you cut from the budget. Why aren't you investigating this disgraceful department? They steal children. There has been a 35% increase in docks removal of children since 2007. It's true. Would you have us believe docks? Mr O'Farrell, you need to hear this. Would you have us? Would you have us believe that there are so many bad parents? No, there are not. Children are a cash commodity. They don't vote. Their voices aren't heard. Children are removed from loving and caring parents via vexatious allegations from unknown parties. No one has a right to even know who those people are. It is not tested properly in a court of law as per a criminal court with evidence. It is all based on someone telling a story. Boys! Barry, come out and talk to us! Come on, Miss Barry! Barry! Come out and talk to us! Prue Gower, come on out! Come you on, made Barry. promises! Come on! Prue Gower made promises pre-election! to get herself in. See she has not kept to these promises. This t-shirt clearly says for anyone who can't see it, Justice Roberts is a federal magistrate. He believes in rabbit proof fence. He took my children without either parent knowing there was a case in court. And I'll remove my jacket and let you see the message on the rear of the shirt. That's all more money for that stuff up. <laughs> Yay! Let me read that out for you. I wish I was getting this says, work and go, stop the family courts from stealing <laughs> our <laughs> children. <laughs> Steal! <laughs> Did you hear that? Family courts, children's courts, all with a memorandum of understanding with Department of Child Services, Docs, Welfare, call them what you want. They steal our children and they tell us to shut up. You can't report it. No, no reporter will touch a family law court case or a Docs case in a paper unless a child dies. And then do they make themselves accountable for what happened? No. no. Come on, Barry! The department takes children from innocent families who have done nothing to their children. True. In the meantime, they leave children to die 
with parents that are drug addicted, etc. The reason they take the children from the innocent families is because they know those families will fight through the courts to save their children from this. Why do they do it? Because, like myself, I have had court costs awarded against me. I now have to pay the Crown $33,000 for fighting to save my grandson. I have been fighting for five years. Docs appreciate that. They knew this innocent family would fight to bring that child back home to his innocent family. They don't take the guilty family's children because those families do not fight through the courts. It's time the department stopped taking innocent children and drugging them up and making false assessments saying that they've got disabilities so that they can raise more funds. People around Australia need to stand up to the human services and say enough is enough. Don't allow another child to die in dog's care, an innocent child. We're not saying that there aren't children who should be taken. There are parents who ask the government to look after their children for them for many and various reasons. They are an absolute minority. What we are talking about is the state in forcibly inserting itself into people's families, unasked and unwanted. The state manufacturing so-called evidence that there is something wrong with the way that family looks after its children. I ask you, what possible harm can a new mother have done to a newborn child as docs remove that child in the maternity ward? I ask you, what possible harm has she done? A new stolen generation. It's not just the Aboriginal children now. It's not just rabbit proof fence. This is a new rabbit proof no. fence. How do two children find their way back across an entire body of water across two states to meet their mother they desperately want to come home to. On the day Kevin Rudd made his apology to the Aboriginal and, um, and other stolen generation, 37 children were state abducted in the Walgett Lightning Ridge area by docks. They had no reason for taking them except that the docks workers in the area objected to their lifestyle choice, which they had lived for three generations. Why is it that this department can keep whimsically interfering with people and their families and their right to live their lives as a family as they choose? The Global Collective, known as Anonymous, is represented at this rally because we hate the corrupt, but we support the people. We, the common folk, who are the 99%. Please, when you leave here today, find our YouTube video, Anonymous Operation Dogbusters. Watch it and then send it everywhere, especially to docs workers, to politicians, to relevant agencies, to your friends and family. Make it go viral and have your voices heard. Anonymous has been hearing countless allegations levelled at child protection services in this country and in particular allegations against child protection in New South Wales, known colloquially as DOCS. Anonymous has been researching and investigating these claims against DOCS and has found them to be correct and true. All of us are here today because enough is enough. Enough! Child Enough. protection services in this country are corrupt and they are unethical. A new stolen generation is taking place by agencies that were created to remove children from truly abusive homes. These days, children are also being removed from capable parents.
parents who are now suffering financial stress after being thrust into the legal system. The racket of child protection has become big business. Money is made from each and every child taken into state care. This industry is worth more than $1 billion a year with the profits shared by carers who admit to taking children into their homes for the money. Private agencies make profits, foster agencies and foster parents make money, lawyers reap in the cash, and the judicial system is continually kept at work. These financial gains bring it with it corruption. The majority of funding is not being allocated to parenting classes or community development, but instead is going to case workers. A government inquiry into child protection in 2008 revealed that DOCS was swamped with notifications that did not warrant the department's involvement. But on the other hand, in all uh, other cases, uh, cases, children were actually at risk. They were neglected, harmed or exploited and some actually died. This report revealed that something very wrong was going on in the New South Wales Child Protection Departments. But to those families across Australia who have experienced the interference of child protective services, this was no great revelation at all. Using docs to help children and families is like expecting petrol to put fire out. Docs have never helped families. In fact, they turn up at maternities and take children, never to be seen by their natural parents again. They lie to them, propagandise them and deculturalise them whilst holding families hostage to an orchestrated litany of lies perpetrated in unfortunately named children's courts where the cornerstone of Australian law, the Evidence Act, doesn't apply. In New South Wales alone, there are no legal protections from the state invading your family. Their latest strategy is to focus on taking infants and newborn babies, whilst not taking children over 11 years old. But why? Because at 11 plus, children are able to deconstruct the lies Doc seeks to perpetrate as facts. Children of this age find their voices and use them. Babies cannot do that. Now why would Docs do that? They have built a multi-million dollar partnership with a levy of NGOs, many staffed by ex-Docs workers, where they just need more kids to feed into the systems for their business model to survive. There are currently over 39,000 children in the New South Wales Children's Gulag. The O'Farrell government has applied funding cuts of just 55 million to this department. Docs busters say he has not gone far enough. Docs are not just wasting your money, they are using it to destroy families at the very cornerstone of communities and societies themselves. Shall we go on? Keep going. Docs enjoy the external resources of police, education, health and justice partners and leave relationships with a bevy of powerful, usually religiously affiliated NGOs. Parents who have their children taken are left to oppose this government wide assault on them completely without resources. Losing in the courts is not an option for Child Protection Incorporated. It has been revealed that child protection workers admit to using dishonest tactics. And these tactics are discussed freely amongst workers. By bending truths or creating fabrications within reports for use in court, docs workers ensure their continued caseloads. We intend to break the silence on the depth of corruption, dirty tactics, fiscal policies and the abuse of power extended by the majority of child protection workers and agencies. Child protection is failing children. Child protection is failing parents. Child protection is failing society. Child protection breaks apart families and strike fear wherever they go. We are here today and want to send this clear message to DOCS and child protection services and agencies. For every child you steal, there is an entire family left behind. Families that are made up of a mother, 
father, siblings, grandparents, aunts, uncles, cousins, and that is a whole lot of resentment. Docs workers, have a thought for all the lives that you, as a protection worker, have touched. There's been a whole lot of us, hasn't there? And with anonymous involvement, be aware that our cries are heard by a global audience. Who is anonymous? We are your family members, your neighbours, your co-workers. We are your clients. We are your ex-clients who are now adults. We are the parents and siblings of your clients. And we are everywhere. We are anonymous and we are legion. Docs, listen to this. We do not forgive. We do not forget. United as one, divide by zero. Child protection agencies and workers of Australia, this is only the beginning. Expect us. Stolen generation. My grandmother's first child was another stolen generation. I now have a grandson that has been stolen by the department. We now have a new stolen generation by docs. Docs are now not only taking Aboriginal children or Torres Strait Islander children, they are also taking Australian children, Indian children, American children. Any race that is here in Australia is affected. No one is safe. You can be rich, you can be poor. Docs will take your child because it means money to them. They take children from the innocent because they know the innocent will fight through the courts and that makes them more money. I have protested. I have come to rallies on numerous occasions. The Department of Community Services, Human Services, Docs, then used videos of me protesting at rallies in court against me to say that I am a violent, aggressive person. All I was doing was trying to protect my grandson and other children. Is that right that the department is allowed to use what is freedom to associate it is in our legislation. We are free to associate, to go to rallies, to belong to anything. But they're allowed to use it in court against parents, grandparents, families that love their children and want them home. Is that right? They don't have to give evidence that they've done something wrong or we've done something wrong but we have to give evidence that we haven't done anything wrong? How do we give evidence that we haven't done anything wrong? It is time for change. The government can change this. Prue Gower promised before her elections that she would change it, that she would return the innocent children taken, the innocent children wrongfully taken. What has Prue Gower done? She has not kept to her promise. She still allows the innocent children to be taken and the innocent families to be affected by the lies of a department that is only in it for the money. You'll be thinking that it can't possibly be true that a government department can operate completely without oversight. And if you're thinking that, you are absolutely 100% wrong. Docs operate in the children's court and in the family court. And in those courts, the Evidence Act doesn't apply. That is the basic tenet. That is the basic tenet of Australian law. When the police are required to produce a case against someone, they must comply with the Evidence Act. But these guys just make up allegations. They don't get to court first with the allegations. They just take the kids and hold them hostage while you go and make more money for them in a court system trying to get your kids back. The working class people can have their children taken. 
a government official can have their children taken. I have personally seen a police officer who had his children taken from lies by the department. They are indiscriminate in who they take, or should I say they are discriminate. They take from the innocent, not the guilty. They take from the innocent, Please, the innocent children, that children. love their children. You know, if I was living on the street and abusing my child, the department would leave that child with me because I don't have any money. So they're not going to make any money out of me. But because I live in a home and I have money, they take my grandson knowing that I will fight to the death to have my innocent child returned. I am now at $33,000 owing to the Crown that the courts have awarded against me. By the time I have finished in the Supreme Court, I will owe over $100,000 to the Crown. Is that fair? They're taking money from the innocent because they know we will fight for our children. It is time the legislation to be changed to protect the innocent children and the innocent families and do something about the children that really need help. I beg you, one of you, one member that is here in Parliament today to come out and speak to me, hear my story, Prue Gower. I have sent you email after email. I have rung your phone numerous times. Do I receive an answer? Never. Is there one parliament member in there that has the guts to talk to us, to hear our story, to act upon what you are told, to save the innocent children? Stop children being drugged in dog's care because the carers had too many children to look after. Return those innocent children. One, just one parliamentary member I am asking to come and listen to what we have to say. Do any of you have a gut? Do you, any of you have a conscience? to what is happening to the innocent children. Just a, a little question. Would you consider what we've done here today as being violent or aggressive or harassing? You wouldn't? No, wouldn't you? You know, I don't know whether you remember me. I've been here a few times. I do remember you, yes. The department used a video of me here at a protest rally and use it in court Bottoms. to say that I was violent nothing, and aggressive. Except... Can you believe that? Except... No. Nothing. Yeah. Nothing surprised yeah. me, but... Uh, yeah, but, you know, I just, it's just, I just wanted That's your opinion. You know, did you that think that what we do here is violent or aggressive? No. They um, used it against me for me to be able to get my grandson. Yeah, yeah. 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 they, they, they sit in their you. office keeping...